hello guys welcome back to the channel today we are solving another lead code problem that is 373 finding k pairs with smallest sum before jumping into the solution i would highly recommend you should read the problem statement on your own and give at least 15 to 30 minutes before jumping into the solution so let's get right into it what problem is asking that you need to return k pairs with smallest sum what do i mean let's take an example and also the nums 1 and nums 2 this one is nums 1 this one is nums 2 these are sorted in ascending order so we have to make pairs so let's make pair of one with others we can have one two one four one six and seven pairs not seven pair with seven seven two seven four and seven six and pair with eleven eleven two eleven four and eleven six what is the sum it's three it's five it's seven nine eleven twelve thirteen it's eleven to thirteen eleven fourteen fifteen seventeen we need the pairs k pairs with the smallest sum so this one is the smallest this one is the smallest k is three over here we need three so which other one is smallest this one so if we write this properly they will look something like this and same as above so this is what we are doing we need to find the k pairs whose sum is the minimum among all the pairs so whenever we find something k among all the given quantities with data structure does it easily and efficiently priority q we have two types of priority q first one is min heap and second one is max heap according to our usage or according to our need we should use min heap yeah we should use but in order to make mean heap work we have to insert all of them <coughs> we have to insert all of them but in the case of max heap what we can do is we take k k size max heap and what we do is we make pairs and find their sum and see if the top of max heap is greater than the sum that we found if it is what should we do we just pop pop it and push this what i'm trying to say is we by by using max heap we are eliminating eliminating all the max from the k we take some arbitrary k and from them we one by one eliminate the max and after that what we get is the min because all the maxes are popped so this takes less time than the min heap in min heap you require more size because you have to insert all of them then then only you can make the decision but in max heap you have to do k so it is quite fast also its complexity will be like n log k and its complexity will be n log n so this is much better so 
let's see how we gonna do it with the example let's write i'll go first and then dry run over our example <coughs> so first we find this make pairs make pairs make pairs and what we do find the sum first thing we do if priority queue size is less than k what we do what we do push nothing to worry if its size is greater than k what do we check if the sum that we got over here is it less than pq dot top if it is what we do pop and push the new sum and third thing sum is greater this will also save some time if sum is greater you break out of you break out of the loop the inner one so what i'm saying is as they are in increasing fashion so if one pair is greater so another pair will also be greater so there is no uh, benefit in iterating further because in value are increasing for example if it is we are making 11 and pair with 7 if it is greater if we make with 8 will it make sense because 11 7 pair is already greater will 11 8 will give us the answer no so we will break you will see the you will see it because while making pair we have to use two loops so while doing it when we have the break we get out of this loop and we choose another one that is very basic thinking i would say about the loop how loop works so let's take a example Uh, copy the test case paste it over here let's see let's see let's discuss the code only because i have to do it two times because there are some things that i have to make it clear so what we are doing over here is we are defining this PR PR is pair int with another pair int comma int. What is this? This is this. This is this. Int comma pair. What we are doing is this is the sum and this is the u and v. This much is clear. This will be put inside the pq this is just making the this is just making the syntax little smaller here we are using you can read about type def so here we are using that pr that we created here we are making the pairs pretty much easy how basic basic programming yeah and we just calculate the sum if size is less than what we do push the sum with the pairs if the size is greater and also the sum is less than what we do pop it and push the new sum and if that case i discussed if as all are increasing in fashion if one is more than the top so it doesn't make sense because we need minimum so we will break out of this loop and choose another one for example if we were at for example something like this <coughs> there is 7 8 and if there is 8 9 11 
with it you cannot find anything not find anything 8 is greater so 7 9 will also be greater so break out of it and use 11 so that's basic very basic programming i just discussed it because sometimes it is not very obvious so that much is the code what we are doing over here is we have to return the pairs vector of vector of vector as you can see so what we do is we are empty emptying the popping everything that we have the k elements and push it push it inside the prior uh, not the priority vector of vector what we are pushing is top dot second second is this 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 value and we push the first and it's second and we pop it basic computation or programming let's try run this code so that you can have better understanding i could have dry run the algo but it doesn't make sense to dry run again and again for same thing also i want to clarify about the type def and priority queue syntax that we were using yeah this is good this is good yeah let's copy this also let us zoom out paste it yeah this is good this is good first we are making pair in this loop let's have a different pen yeah we are choosing one and we are making pair with nums two two four six one comma two how much is it this is our priority queue three one comma two yeah again one four five one comma four and again one six seven one comma six we have our k pairs again when we go for seven seven two how much is this nine will it pop anyone no seven four seven four how much is this 11 will it pop anyone no i just forgot myself this condition 7 2 is 9 9 is greater than 7 the top of priority queue so what we do is break so we don't go even here we break out of it we now take 11 11 2 11 2 is 13 is it smaller no it is not even we break out of this break happens over here and break happens over here as you can see we saved a lot of time so that's how it is and after that basic thing we just pop it and use 1 comma 6 1 comma 4 1 comma 2 we will not be using 7 2 that is that is first and that is second so that is very basic pair which is first which is second so i hope this much is clear now let's submit it and see if it is running or not yeah yeah you can see it is running i hope i was able to make my intuition very much clear and i hope you understood something about minheap how we can use minheap not minheap maxheap sorry how we can use maxheap to find minheap type property things so if i was able to make your problem solving little better or make intuition clear to you consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video and sharing with your friends so you have to do what you have to do so keep grinding you guys are awesome see you in the next one bye bye